So what's going on today is I tried to make a video last week about Evelyn Viego because I've never played Evelyn before and it wasn't going well. I finally sort of ran into that problem where I just could not pick up enough wins on the deck in a timely enough fashion to like get a video out, which is part of the reason that there was no video last Wednesday. I also had to go help a friend move, but I was looking through the meta today and a lot of things have changed over the last week, but the big thing that stuck out to me was I noticed this Resh Viego deck, and I've always been a really big fan of Viego decks, and I haven't been loving the Evelyn version. I, the Sharima version speaks to me a little bit, but not as much as I wanted to, so well, I was pretty excited to find this Thresh Viego deck that uh, sort of goes back to the roots of Viego in Legends of Runeterra. And I don't know if I actually need to keep Viego here. I kind of want to, just because this deck probably can't deal with it super well. And I actually kind of want to keep Black Spear Leech so that I can deal with Nami, but I'm sure that there are... Okay, I'll keep the Spear, but I won't keep the Leech, because I want to be able to shoot the Nami. But yeah, this deck stuck out to me because uh, it runs three Syncopation, which is... A lot more than we typically see in these lists. Some people will not run it at all. Usually we'll see like one to two copies. So I feel like I, I kind of want to be able to play very aggressively with the syncopation. That's, that's kind of what I'm looking to do out of this list. So, and, and it wasn't just like, a oh yeah, the top person runs three syncopation. No, everybody was running three syncopation. And, and that's really interesting to me because it's a card that doesn't, people don't do that with syncopation very often. It's very clunky. And I think we saw, I want to say it was Cameron Hanzo in the top 32 or 16 of one of the last seasonals that I cast where I don't remember what deck he was playing, but we just watched him hard brick on multiple syncopation. Okay, we got Gohards in the TF Nami. It's not the most unheard of thing in the world. I don't know how good it's going to be versus this deck specifically, but... Okay, yeah, this is, um... This is usually why people wouldn't run three syncopation. Now I regret shipping back the Viego, obviously, but, um... Oh, boy. If they attack, I'm gonna block and vile, and if they don't attack... I... I really can't afford to quiet us that. Maybe I just vile and then attack with both. I don't want to get glimpsed. Eh, probably going to get glimpsed anyway. So I'll save the vial. Um, see if I can... Oh, okay. This is... This is why people don't play three copies of this card. Hello everyone, Future Boulevard here. We're going to go ahead and fast forward this to the point where I actually get to cast my first syncopation about... 10 rounds later. I can't even go after TF, I have to go after elusives. Aw, oh, yeah, baby. Um, you can have my mist. That was a neat little trick, wasn't it? I'm gonna go ahead and skip ahead to the point where I cast the next syncopation. You can even, like, get them to throw, like they're going to attack with their elusives. Okay, triple syncopation. Didn't feel great there. You see, the joke is I never got to play the second. Ugh. Well, that... That wasn't phenomenal. You know? Draw a Thresh, like, eight turns, nine turns into the game. Draw three Syncopation really early. This is another matchup where, like, the Syncopation doesn't really feel like it's going to matter. Um, so we'll just chuck it. I don't think my deck is really built to be able to out-resource Pirates, so maybe I should keep the Thresh, but... Okay. We got a two drop and double vial. Alright, this hand. <laughs> now this is a hand. This is a hand. This is what I wanted earlier. I'll talk to you. Ooh. Is there an ideal quietest target in this deck? 
It's this thing, I guess. I'll deal with you later. Get a spell shield down onto one of our guys. Depending on what they develop, though, I might just Vile Feast. That's absolutely a Salter. I think this is Salter. I don't know the names of my own cards. Uh, this one's Salter, at least based on... It has more... In, it, in Korean, that sounds like Salter than this does. This is like... Korean, this would be something like Burra? Gotcha. Take a little poke. Yeah. Okay. I wanna I, I wanna make my opponent develop next turn, so I wanna give them a very weak attack. Which I guess means Double Vile Feasting, a bunch of Mirai Wardens. But I want them to develop into me so I can play the Camivore in. Unfortunately. That looks good to me. Just jam out Viego here then. Get some missed trains going. Try to ensure that we never take unit damage again. Uh, so they have to burn us from here on out. Okay, I used the quietest earlier because most people, I think, don't run the Weapon Master. So I was like, I'm pretty safe to not need to worry about destroying an equipment. But now all of a sudden, they're going to level Misfortune on me. <laughs> Which is, uh, not ideal. The good news, though, is that they don't... Okay, now they have a fearsome blocker. I can't attack with the mist because I want that to die at the end of the turn. But I can attack with these guys. Luckily, the MF burn actually only represents a decimate here. Oh, am I about to get hit with the, uh, the old Riptide sermon? I'm really hoping nothing dies this turn so that I can get the mist at end of end of round. It's, okay. Got the end of round mist. Maybe we draw a kill spell for MF. Nope. Uh I'll throw out the mist here so that I have board space for another one. Oh, I already had a mist coming. I see. The good news is... I have a full board. There's only a little bit of overwhelm coming through. They're down to two cards. And if they attack with everything... Yeah, so like now my Viego gets to block this for free. MF is the only fearsome blocker for my Viego. I think I end up wider than my opponent to the point where I can just about end the game with a Viego attack. I do need to stop a fair amount of damage, though. I can't just take all of this. So they do still have two cards in hand. They're drawing a third. I might not even end up killing them next turn. Is how I want to do it? Well, I'd want to... This is dying anyway. I'd rather be outside the range of Make It Rain. 
That looks right. Okay, atrocity could seal the deal here. Fourteen? The mist was a four four, so that we'll be one shy of leveling. But I already got my mist this turn. I think I might need to wait until next turn to play this in order for the syncopation atrocity game plan to work. Floated nine mana. Wow. What do they have going on? Yeah, so now I get to Yeah, this should this should be lethal. I, I'm not dying this turn. I don't think they can deal 11 burn damage with 11 mana. So I should be able to syncopate Viego in there. And then... Kill. And I have this to protect against Fervor on Viego, because it'll grow them to a 3-3. Three, three, or a 3-tough, rather. Doesn't really matter how I play this, right? They don't have mana for double fervor. Okay, cool. So there we go. There's syncopation coming in big. And it took a minute. Alright, yeah, you know, maybe I'll maybe I'll do a little bit more finding with this uh off stream tonight. That's not true. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna record more videos for later in the week. But uh yeah, that's that's the fresh Diego so far. I'll probably I'll revisit this. I might upload another gameplay video of it next week before the patch drops, because I kind of like this. But um, that first showing, man, that, that was my first game with the deck. Usually, like, when you start a new deck, you get that, that new deck luck. Absolutely not the case on that one. That was rough.